Welcome back to Literary News, ladies and gents. My name is Miranda Moridian, and today we have Dr. Asa Breed, co-scientist of Felix Honecker, may he rest in peace, and Jonah, a passionate writer. They have joined us to discuss a very crucial topic. Is Ice Nine a helpful invention to society, or is it an issue to the world? Well, first, I'd like to say thank you for having me today. As well, I'd like to say I'm glad to be a part of this intriguing debate. So, Dr. Breed, tell us about this invention known as Ice Nine. Ha! Huh. Ice Nine! Ice Nine! Ice Nine! Where do I begin? Felix Honecker created Ice Nine to find a new way to lock and freeze atoms. We thought this would be a perfect way for the U.S. Army to use within the Marines. It's certainly quite an invention. I was wondering how Jonah felt about it. Yes, it's the invention of a lifetime, but what about all the danger that it caused? What about the people of San Lorenzo? What about Mona Manzano? Heinecker's children? The Ice Nine had had the power that no one could have predicted, not even Mr. Heinecker. He didn't create Ice Nine for the people of San Lorenzo. He created Ice Nine for the soldiers who were fighting for our country. The people of San Lorenzo made a choice to use it for the wrong per lies. You say that Heinecker created it for the soldiers who were fighting for our country, yet he gave it to his responsible children as a gift? Yes, it was a choice he made. Maybe he didn't understand the full potential of IS-9, but we intended to push scientific inventions past great limitations. We wanted to do something better than the atomic bomb. We wanted to make a difference, a damn change in this world. As he surely did. I mean, if you consider the fact that he ruined San Lorenzo, killing off an entire population with Ice-9, freezing the world completely, scientists are so ready to push the idea of greater accomplishments without thinking about the damage that could recur as a result of the accomplishments. As a vice president who was in this work with Felix Honecker, I can say that this project was very much theoretical and should have never been made, but it proved a point that most scientists don't make. We made something powerful. It's very ironic that you asked me this because on the flight to San Lorenzo, I was actually talking to the ambassadors and they told us what the government was like and how it was like a dictatorship. Yes, the best example would probably be their justice system. You see, in San Lorenzo, any person who commits a crime is punished harshly so they never commit the crime twice. It happened to catch my eye because when I came to San Lorenzo, there was a lack of crime at all. And if there was any crime, the results were horrible. I don't see what this has to do with Ice Nine or its relation to San Lorenzo. But it does relate. The people in San Lorenzo were under a strict power, a power they could not overthrow or disagree with because they simply did not have a choice. In America, when one commits a crime, there is no public showing of a wretched death, is there? So, I don't get what this has to do with me. Dr. Breed, the Ice Nine gave people who've never been able to have a choice, a choice of power. And do you know what those people did with that power? They chose to kill themselves but they made the choice to end their lives. They could have used Ice Nine to better their lives. That's what it was made for. Like how? Using Ice Nine to overpower other people and destroy the world? That's something Americans are good at, right? Because supposedly America is the best. How did San Lorenzo even freeze over anyway? Who was dumb enough to let something as powerful as Ice Nine near water? People, humans, people who always find, want a way to find overpower over someone else. That's how Ice Nine destroyed San Lorenzo, because of stupid people like you and I. Are you calling me stupid? Yes, because humans are stupid. That's the whole point of me writing my novel in the beginning. People like you and I have power and we abuse freedom. Mankind deprived the world of everything we needed. We are stupid. Stupid? Yes! Me stupid. Okay! That is all the time we have today. Thank you both for joining us and see you all next time on Literary News.